A Lexington mother is celebrating after a bill she advocated for was signed into law this session. It's called Nathan's Law and it requires extra training and resources for coroners when they have to take on the tough job of informing families when a loved one has died. She fought for this law after she says she had a terrible experience with the Fayette County Coroner's Office. LES 18's Kristen Edwards has that story. Stacy Burnett's 18 year old son Nathan died during an out of state snowboarding trip last year. She says the way a deputy coroner delivered the news traumatized her. It just seemed very unprofessional and cold and it made us feel disregarded. After that experience, she advocated for Nathan's law, which requires these items when it comes to death notifications. On April 8th, Governor Bashir signed it into law. I was just super happy. I felt like it was a little bit of closure for us that good could come out of something so bad. We called Fayette County Coroner Gary Ginn, who said he didn't want to get into a he said, she said situation with the Burnett's, but he did offer his sincerest condolences and said that he is all for Nathan's law. We also asked the Kentucky Coroner's Association how they feel about it, and they said they're totally on board. I don't see any negatives for this bill. I, I, I don't. Jimmy Pollard, the association's executive director, especially likes how coroners and deputy coroners have to reach back out to a family within 48 hours. Just staying in contact. Uh, we, we like that real well. He says the biggest challenge, though, will be asking EMS to be on standby in rural areas. Because when you do that in small towns, he worries word may get around about the death before the next of kin is notified. But overall, he says he's glad Nathan's law was passed. Our biggest hope is that other families will have a little bit more peace when they get terrible news. Nathan's law will go into effect on January 1st, 2023. In Lexington, Kristen Edwards, LEX 18 News.